Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about how we can simultaneously loop through multiple lists. So as you can see here we have two lists. The first list is F names, which contains the first names of people and the second list contains uh, which is s names contains the surnames of the people so what we want to do here is we want to loop through both these lists simultaneously and then uh, append the full name of every person to a full names list so how can we do this it's actually pretty simple first thing we do is we create a full names list and then we use a for loop so what we do here is for f name, comma s name, in we will use the zip function to collect the lists f names and s names, and then what we do is we just append the names to full names dot append. We use the append function, and we just pass f name plus s name, and that's about it actually. And here we can actually uh, put a gap so that there's some space. And uh, yeah, that's it. We let's just print it out, and I can show you guys how it looks. So let me save it and run it. And there you go. Here we have a list which contains the full names of every individual. So it's actually a pretty uh, good function. This is a function. It allows you to simultaneously loop through multiple lists, and it doesn't have to be only two lists. It can be more than two. It can be three, four, and um, so. One thing probably, you know, people wondering here is um, here the lists are of equal length. They both have three names. What happens if the lists are unequal in length? What happens then? So, for example, uh, there is a guy called Red. And this guy, he doesn't have a surname. So what happens then? In this case, F names is four names and S names is only three names. What happens in this case? Well, uh, there are a few options, actually. Uh, the, fir the first scenario uh, is that there will be an error because it's not equal in length. The second scenario is it will just loop through the shorter list. And the final scenario is it will lo uh, loop through the longer list. So let's just run the code and uh, see what happens. So we ran it again and you can see that it actually ran three t it looped three times, which means it picked the shorter list and uh, uh, loop through three times. Now, so as you can see here, the zip function works even if the lists are not equal in length. Now, I know some people are probably wondering that, wait a minute, what if I want to actually loop through the longer list? I want it to loop four times. Well, in that case, we can import the module, import iter tools, and iter tools has this function called um, Wait, iter tools dot zip. It's yes, it's called zip longest. So iter tools has a function called zip longest. This will allow you to loop through the longest uh, list. So let's run this one more time. Save it and run it, and we have an error. Okay, so the, okay, so what the problem here is when you're trying to loop through the longest list, right? So the first three are fine, but when it comes to red, it doesn't have a surname. So what it will do is it will just uh, add a none type uh, to just fill that space. So when we're trying to actually add the first name to a none type, uh, the first name is actually a string and the none type is a, well, none type. So it, it won't work. So what we can do is we can use a string function to make sure that when we are uh, appending the full name, we're appending strings. So we save it and run it one more time. And this time you can see that it did loop four times. And you can see here none. This is what I was talking about. Because the surname doesn't have a fourth, uh, a fourth name. So, uh, so the zip longest function will just add in none for it to loop four times. So yeah, that's about it actually. Uh, so just a quick recap, if you want to use the zip function, you can use it to loop simultaneously through multiple loops. Uh, but by default, it will just loop uh, through the shortest list. Or in, if it's equal, then it doesn't matter if, if it, the lists are equal in length. But if you use iter tools, you can actually use zip longest to loop through the longest list. 
So that's it for today. And if you, uh, I would appreciate if you like the video and uh, uh, comment if you have any questions. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.